Raise your hand if you got the Dyson Airwrap for Christmas and now you're about ready to return it. Because same, that was me until I figured out what I was doing wrong. So let me show you on one side of my head with a good technique versus bad technique so that you can avoid these mistakes and keep your Dyson Airwrap. First starting off with this Aquis hair wrap. This is really helpful to minimize frizz and take my hair from soaking to just damp. Starting off with a heat protectant on both sides of my hair and I'm going to brush through both sides of my head. Now for the good side, I'm adding a mousse. This will really help give us flexibility and hold. Right off the bat, I'm gonna dry the good side in a way that minimizes frizz by tilting everything downward. On the other side, I'm just gonna go in every which direction, you'll see the difference this makes. Normally, if you have textured hair, you want to go in with a smoothing brush, but I'm going to skip that and go in with the round brush on the bad side of my hair, and you're going to notice that it doesn't really smooth out my hair enough. Another mistake people make is not holding the cool shot button long enough, so I'm going to do that on this side, and it won't set properly. On the good side, I'm going to section out my hair, use the smoothing brush to smooth out texture, the round brush, and then use the cool shot button on the curling attachment so that it sets the curl in place. The bad side curls look frizzy and undefined, and the good side looks really nice and smooth. These are my curls after an hour. Technique makes all the difference.